Michelle Knight. Welcome to your February astrology. This month we are invited to open our heart to accept not only our unique soul but the uniqueness in other people, to connect, to join forces with and to understand through that connection we can achieve anything. Here's your monthly astrology. Fabulous Pisces, here we are in February. And as you know, February is supposed to be the month of love. It's a month of self-reflection. And by the end of the month, it's the beginning of spring as far as I'm concerned. And things are blossoming and growing. And for you, it is especially true. Particularly as by the end of the month, we're coming into your time. Oh yeah, thank goodness. The world is playing your tune. But let's start at the beginning. We have Venus conjunct Pluto on the 5th. And the good news is you are feeling much more yourself this year, much more able to be who you are out there. This little connection between Venus and Pluto is allowing you to change and transform and know that you are worthy and to feel comfortable in groups of people. You may even meet someone extraordinary that kind of knocks you for six, who you have a very strong romantic connection with. But I believe it's also deeply about how confident you are out there in the world and you've done a lot of work on yourself and fingers crossed, you're much more at ease out there. You've got much stronger boundaries. Having said that, on the 7th, the sun, which is in your position of kind of very, very spiritual and kind of compassionate and empathy and optimistic, is squaring Mars. There's a part of you that wants to plan things and wants to have an adventure, but it's very important that you keep these ideals realistic. Yes, you can achieve your dreams. Yes, you can have adventures, but don't go off in a kind of fairy tale way about it. It's very important that you plan and you're practical, particularly as Mercury it has been messing us around. Now, the moon, new moon is also the Chinese year of the monkey, and you're feeling that it's a new start for you spiritually. And hopefully that means that you're feeling very grounded, very in your power, very in touch with your higher self. I hate that term, higher self, but you know, let's say your connection with the universe, your connection with the one consciousness, you're much more aware of your place in the world and your ability to trust your intuition and listen to your intuition. Oftentimes the Pisces I know, and I've got five plants in Pisces, we know it all. It, our intuition has told us everything. Do we listen though? No. We let our head just take us into situations even when we get big warning signs. So this new moon is saying to you, come on now, trust that superpower you have, which is your intuition and your gut feeling. We have also Mercury re-entering that position of your spirituality and intuition. Your intuition is on full blast, but do not get carried away by any illusions. That's really important. Keep yourself grounded within your intuition. On the 19th, yeah, the sun enters your sign and you feel a blast of that warmth. You feel more confident. You feel as if your batteries are recharged and you are glowing with optimism, fingers crossed. We also have a full moon on the 22nd in your position of relationships. That's where the love comes in. Your intuition is telling you what's right for you love-wise and it's a little bit of love magic on that day. If you're single, it's a great day to say to the universe, send me the lover that is right for me. Uh, bring me a soul connection that I can learn and grow with or, you know, however you choose to word it. But do be careful on the wording and don't, I would advise, ask for someone specific. Ask the universe to send you someone right for you. We also have on the 28th a big deal when we have Sun conjunct Neptune in your sign. That plugs you into the power of Neptune. Now a lot of people, astrologers say, oh you know that's all about lies and that's all about deception. I have to disagree. I think you're plugging yourself into your truth, your absolute eternal knowledge, your soul's wisdom and I think that you can walk powerfully in the world with that wisdom on the 28th. So all in all, a very interesting month. You're coming into your power, you can transform your love life, and you know, it's all there for you. And your wisdom and your intuition is on full blast, but don't get lost on the yellow brick road. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.
If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.